The slump test is a simple and commonly used test in construction to measure the workability or consistency of fresh concrete before it sets. It helps to determine how easily the concrete can be mixed, placed, and compacted, which is crucial for ensuring the quality of the concrete in various construction conditions. How the slump test is performed A metal slump cone, also called Abrams cone, is used with standard dimensions. Height equals 300 mm, bottom diameter equals 200 mm, top diameter equals 100 mm. The cone is placed on a flat, non-absorbent surface. Fresh concrete is filled in three layers, each tamped 25 times with a standard rod. After filling, the cone is slowly lifted vertically. The concrete slump subsides and the decrease in height is measured. The slump value is the difference in height between the cone and the slump concrete. Types of slump True slump The concrete subsides evenly and maintains its shape. Indicates good and uniform workability. Most desirable type for quality concrete Shear slump One side of the concrete shear off or slips sideways. Indicates non-uniform mix or poor cohesion. Generally occurs in harsh or dry mixes. Collapse slump. The concrete collapses completely after lifting the cone. Suggests the mix is too wet or has very high workability. Suitable for concrete with high flow requirements, like self-compacting concrete. Zero slump. No measurable slump occurs. Concrete retains cone shape. Indicates very low workability. Common in dry mixes used in road construction or for precast elements.